Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today we will be rating every player's performance from Tottenham Hotspur 4, Leeds United 3, as Kane, Ben Davies, and Rodrigo Bentancur scored to give Tottenham all three points in a very exhilarating match against Leeds United at home in London at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium to send Tottenham back up to third place pending the result of Newcastle versus Chelsea. Let's start with our goalkeeper and captain Hugo Lloris. Hugo Lloris had a very shaky performance. Um, third goal for Leeds United, nothing he could do about. First goal that they scored, he, he, I think I feel like he should have done better, but at the same time, it was a tricky shot. It was, it was at his near post. Um, but the second one, he I feel like he should have stopped. Yeah. Well, he should have stopped him. It was almost not straight at him, but it wasn't that far away from him. And I feel it was like a he fast should've. shot, but it was a fast shot, but. It was like a snapshot. Uh, our whole team clicked off. Yeah, I think he, he was also maybe Including not ready. Including Lloris. Yeah. He was not, his positioning was not in the right spot. Yeah. And I normally agree. he has great positioning. Yeah. I gave him a 6.5. Let's continue to our defense. Eric Dyer. I'm going to rate Eric Dyer a 6. I'm going to give him a 5.5. But after he has been selected for England for the World Cup, he has had some shocking performances for us. And today was really just another one of those. Um, not great on the first goal. Somerville kept him out very well, but not great on the first goal. He, and then he he has amazing crosses. He's pretty yeah. decent in attack. He has some really good crosses. Honestly, I would love to see him take corners, but he's good um, at free kicks. He's pushing up too much. Yeah, that's the thing. And then he doesn't have the that, pace to get back. We saw that against Forrest. Yeah, for Jesse Lingard's goal, he was caught out. Yeah, he was all the way up there, and he could not make it back. Yeah. Um, but I think Eric Dyer had a very shaky performance. Definitely the most shaky of all, all of our defenders today. Um, he got better as the game went on. In the second half, he was definitely more solid. Uh, and then I think every Spurs fan's anxiety went up when we saw Dyer and Sanchez on one side because we knew that there were, we had the feeling that there would have, there was going to be a mistake on that side I but think, luckily there was nothing I think Dyer is more comfortable in the middle than on the right side Yeah definitely That's yeah. definitely one thing you can but Conte that, has to consider Without Romero we can't play him in the, the middle Yeah cuz Longley and Davies are both left footed Uh let's continue to Clomel Longley who played in the center of the 3 I'm going to give him a 6 I'm going to give him a 6.25 No errors from the Frenchman today but he just wasn't <clears throat> as solid as Ben Davies was today. <clears throat> I think Ben Davies was definitely our best defender today. Kama Longley wasn't the best, but he wasn't the worst. He was better than Dyer. No silly mistakes. But I feel like there were times where we could have... Definitely for the second goal, I think we could have marked uh, Rodrigo a little bit better. Yeah, but especially he Longley. did go off pretty early. Like yep. He went off in like the 60s. Some, 60 something probably to help Dyer go back into that center position yeah so which he's more yeah. comfortable in yeah. um but other than that Longley had um not that bad of a performance but also not that good of a performance yeah. he didn't do much honestly he he rarely his passing around the back he was fine with everything like that on the ball he was fine um it was just our whole defense in general very yeah. shaky in the first half Continuing on to our last defender, Ben Davies, who scored the goal to get us level 2-2 after the break. I'm going to give him a 7. I'm going to give Ben Davies a 7.75. Ben Davies was definitely the best defender today on the pitch. Ben he Davies, was unbelievable. Yeah. He was da by, by far our best defender. Uh, brilliant shot for the second goal. He knows he just, all he has to do is get it on target. He knows Melier is out of position. Uh, their whole defense is out of position. Mm -hmm. um, all he has to do is get it on target, and they and, it, and, and he can force make, a mistake from. Make them. sure it's a solid shot because he's got some real power behind that, and Melier could not deal with it, um, especially if it's moving. Because I think that ball moved a little bit in the air, so Melier could not get the firm grasp on it, and it just slides right under him and into the back of the net. Ben Davies definitely our best defender today. Let's continue to our wing backs, Emerson Royale. I'm going to rate Emerson a 6. I'm going to rate Emerson a 5. By far the worst player on the pitch. He was useless in defense. The first goal was shocking. He left Somerville in way too much space. He needs to work on some things over the international break. He was not called up for Brazil, 
So he has yeah. things to do. And then with the Conte. second, uh, no, not the second goal. And then what was it? Was it after the second goal or before? I don't remember. He uh, had a cutback from Kulusevsky, I believe. No, yeah, Kulusevsky, I believe. The ball was cut right back to him, and Emerson skied it so far up that it went out of the TV angle. That like, was a real. That it. was a real defender's finish. Yeah. He he just leaned back and just put it miles high. Uh, so that was probably the last straw, and then he went off in the 57th minute for Matt Doherty, who really changed just, the game in our time. He just wise. could not settle the ball under yeah. his feet. He could not settle it, and every almost every time he got the ball, if he didn't pass, he lost it. Yeah. Uh, continuing to our other wing back, who was day and night from Emerson, Ivan Perisic. I'm going to give him a uh, 6.5. I'm going to give Ivan Perisic a 6.75. He tried a lot of new things today. Uh, he definitely looked tired. Yeah, he did look a, vi- look a little fatigued, but Ivan Perisic, uh, he was physical today. He, he looked was trying like he, stuff. Was, he was involved. Yeah. He was very involved. He was not asleep at all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not a, not a lot of the things uh, worked. He was getting pressured high on the left side. Mm-hmm. Couldn't get a lot of crosses off. Yeah. Um, some, of his del- some of his deliveries were good. He had maybe one poor one. Yeah. Uh, pretty good but, deliveries for yeah. him. Overall, a, a be- way better performance than Emerson on that right side. Uh, let's continue to our midfielder, starting with Pierre-Emile Hoybier. I'm going to rate Hoybier a 7.5. I'm going to give him a 7 uh, worked his worked so hard today. Yeah, he, he was really running hard. everywhere. He has got to be exhausted. I can't even imagine. And he's a key player for Denmark as well. He's like an automatic but starting. He's got def- he's uh, got midfielder. a whole week. He's yeah. got a whole week until the World Cup starts. But he he did not even look like he's got an important tournament. He was just putting everything out there for us today, and it it resulted in a solid win. His work rate and his physicality, especially at the end in that corner, he was working well with yep. Kane. To, to waste time, yep. um, someone who's got the World Cup in a week, yeah, who could possibly possibly risk injury, working so hard for his club, trying to get the three points today. Yeah, brilliant performance by Pierre Emil Hoybier. Let's continue to our other midfielder who got the winning and the equalizing goal in the 81st and 83rd minute, Rodrigo Benton Kerr. I'm going to rate Ben Tanker an 8.5. I'm going to give him an 8. Solid, solid performance from Ben Tanker. Uh, first half, second half, he was good throughout the whole game. So calm, so composed. He's able to get out of pressure so well. And then it resulted in a beautifully taken two goals. First one, a nice little volley uh, chested down. And the second one, excellent play with his um, buddy from Juventus, Dejan Kulusevski. I thought he was going to look very sluggish at the beginning of the match. Yeah. But then he proved me wrong. He, yeah. he even though he's got the World Cup, same thing as Hoybier, he worked himself out. Um, he worked his heart out. Um, mm-hmm. As soon as he scored his first goal, right away, he forgot. He, it's like he forgot about it and yeah, went on. He just trying ran, to, ran back. Trying yep. to get another one. And he did that. Uh, continuing on to our front three, on level terms with Kulusevski, uh, with Bentanker is Dejan Kulusevski. I'm going to give him an 8. I'm also going to give him an 8.5. Absolute savior for us. Got the assist for the last goal. Um, sorry, yeah, the last goal, but Ben Tunker's winner. But he was instrumental in basically all of the other ones. He created 50% of our goals. Yep. He created the Ben Davies goal and yep. um, Ben, uh, ben Tunker's yep. second goal. Ben Davies is across from Kulusevski, blocked shot from Kane. Ben Davies rifles it into the net. It's all cool stuff. See, getting past his man and getting that cross off yep. on the right side. Something that Emerson can't do. Yeah. Unfold. And it's all because of his physicality. He's yep. able to, um, he has the, and he has the technical ability to know where But also the just the ability the to play the sport. He knows how to play soccer or football or whatever you want to call it. But Emerson does not. Like he put, he tried to do a cross field pass today and he put it right into the feet of Tyler Adams. He has some major stuff to work yeah. on. Emerson Royale. Um, I know Conte has said he wants to strengthen uh, right wing, the right yeah. wing back position, this transfer window. Um, and he also wants to get another attacking option that we can play in the front three. Yeah. A more dynamic player who can play anywhere. Yeah. Uh, continuing on to our striker, Harry Kane, who scored his 12th goal of the Premier League season. I'm going to give Harry Kane a 7. I'm going to give Harry Kane a 7.25. Took his goal excellently. 
uh, on the volley from a corner, reacted well, got at, took Adams completely out of the equation and rifled it into the back of the net. And uh, he was kind of involved for some of the other goals, um, some good passes today, but it was all going through Kulisevsky today. Yeah. Kane, a uh, lovely little setup for himself for the goal. Yeah. Quick instincts, strikers finish. Um, Kane did look good today. And then uh, he that, was also really end. good in the end, in the, the corner, time wasting time. That's his specialty. Yep. That was beautiful. That was so, so nice to see. And it paid off because nothing else happened from then. We just That's where, that's where the game ended. We were about to take a free kick and the game ends. Uh, last on the team sheet was Rich Charleston, who came into the side after being injured. Um, I'm going to give him a 6.5. I'm going to give Rich Charleston a 6.75. He w- he, his effort was there. His effort he was there. He put a lot of effort um, today. I feel like he was one of the players that was more... He took a little bit of caution. Yeah. You could tell. Yeah. Um, he was not... Because he's playing for Brazil in the World yeah. Cup, which I get. Um... He did get subbed off quite early. Yeah. In like the 69th minute or 68th minute. He is minute. O- o- only just back from injury. So that I won't too. be really surprised with that substitution. He didn't do bad. But he, he didn't solid. look that bad. Yeah. He was decent. Yep. Um, didn't make any big mistakes. Nope. Played some good balls, though. Yeah. Played some good Almost balls. scored uh, Almost if it scored, weren't yeah. for a goal line clearance from Christensen. He got the ball through Melier's legs, but Christensen, uh, it trickled slowly to Christensen, who was waiting on the line. Moving on to our subs, Davinson Sanchez, I'm going to give him a 6. I'm going we to didn't give, see him a lot. I'm going to give him a 6.25. We didn't see much from him. I feel like he could have done better for Rodrigo's second goal. Yeah, but honestly, three. it's okay because that means he wasn't bad. Yeah. If we didn't see him today, that means he wasn't bad. Uh, our next substitute is Matt Doherty. Matt Doherty, he really changed the game. I'm giving him a 7. 7, yep. We actually had a good player at right wing back, and he linked up beautifully with Kulisevsky and Ben Dunker, forming that little triangle on that right side. And I think he was really instrumental to the last two goals. Quick passing, especially for the second one. It was yeah. Uh, er, no, the third one. Um, it was re- it was his cross that trickled to Ben Dunker. Yeah. Uh, Leeds weren't able to clear it. Um, and Ben Dunker f- found Ben Dunker, and he yeah. scored. Um, that's that tells you that's all we have to do. We don't have we don't need really pinpoint crosses we just need to yeah. get in it into the danger area mm-hmm. that's what doherty is really good at yeah definitely um and our last substitute is yves besuma i'm gonna give him a six point uh sorry six i'm going to give yves besuma a 6.5 he wasn't bad at all today wasn't bad i i don't think he really did much and i mean he did play for mm-hmm. like 20 minutes or so yeah um just some passing Passes along the back. Um, he did win the, the wall back a couple times. He did force the red card from yep. Adams. Yeah. Um, I feel like he did decently. Yeah. Basuma. Didn't yep. do anything wrong. Didn't do anything great, but didn't do anything yep. wrong. I Decent agree. performance. But a very, very good win from Tottenham Hotspur today. That is it for our player ratings. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoy our content. Comment down below who your man of the match is. And until next time. Come on, you Spurs!